Good morning everyone, welcome back to the last vlog of 2021. I'm going to be taking a short break for the last two weeks of December and the year. I am actually going to be vlogging our trip to the Cotswolds, which is over the Christmas break. So I will be filming that for you. So when you come, well, when we come back, um, you'll get lots of new videos beginning of January. But I thought we'd wrap the year up with a good old chit chatty kind of video. So I was just gonna sit in the car and chat to you, but I actually have so many errands to run today. I need to go to the gym this morning. I've got a PT session booked in an hour. So I need to leave in about 25 minutes. I need to go to the post office to send my friends their Christmas gifts. But I haven't finished wrapping them all yet. So we need to do that at some point today. I need to go to Pets at Home to get food for Bonnie. I want to have enough to cover us while we're away. I need to go to Home Bargains and get those a bit. M&S for Christmas stuff. And there's a couple of other things in case I have time, but we'll see. I also wanted to go swimming after my gym session today, but we'll see how I go. I'm already going to be really sweaty. I could go for a swim, even if I just do 20 minutes or half an hour of length. So anyway, it's five past nine. I need to give Bonnie a quick walk before we go out. But I also haven't eaten anything yet. And that is the number one rule. If I'm going to go and do any exercise, I have to eat. Because I have shown up on an empty stomach. And I've performed very badly. So let's have some breakfast. If you're new around here, please do hit subscribe and the thumbs up. That would be great. I'd love to have you here. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to 100,000 subscribers one day. But you clicking the button will help me get there. So good. Great. And this perfect day. Nothing's gonna be in my way. Right, we're having porridge this morning uh, with a bit of honey in it and some soy milk. Good morning. The time is 9.06 a.m. Currently in Bournemouth, it's 11 degrees and mostly cloudy. Yeah. Today All right, on the way to the gym, it's 20 to 10 and I'm gonna do personal training, then I'm gonna just swim and then I'm going to shower and dry my hair. And I love that my gym is a place that I not only work out, but I socialize, I can shower and do my hair, I can have lunch or dinner there, I can work from there, have a nice coffee. It's not just a gym, because if I look at it as just a gym, then my brain is like, we don't wanna go. <laughs> so I've been flipping my mindset with so many things this year. I actually uploaded an Instagram reel a couple of weeks ago, and I used the audio that was like, this part of your life, is called finding yourself and i wrote a long caption about how the but the only way i can describe it is that this year has been all about the journey to like no final destination it's all about the journey not the destination there isn't a final completion of like i don't know how to describe it like i've been so obsessed with my weight and size and how I feel about my like the number on the scales and how I feel within my skin and actually I've cared so much less about all of that this year and I've dropped a lot of weight mentally I've really focused on what I can do the little things all the small wins and actually you've got to figure out what works for you and your body and your mindset what do you need and when you start just staying in your own lane and focusing on on what you what you want <laughs> it's amazing how much happier you can be I feel like i've matured this year like i've really cared less about things that just don't need my attention um as much that the whole like um will this matter in five minutes five days five months five years sort of thing like do we really need to stress about this no i don't know how else to say it. i just have felt really good this may be the happiest i've ever been like genuinely, like, and I, and part of me is like, I can't really pinpoint the, the exact reasons why, but I think it's because I've really invested a lot of time emotionally and mentally um, to do the work, to show up for myself, to forgive myself and those that I was holding on to like, you know, resentment. Figure out what makes me me, what brings me joy, what do I need, what are my goals, what am I working towards, having open and honest conversations with the people I love the most, asking for help, fueling my body with what it needs, working out, moving, and 
having a lot more gratitude as well. I write a daily gratitude journal and that has changed my life. The other thing I was just gonna quickly talk about is that I have had a really successful work year. I'm really proud of all the work I did this year, all the videos I made, the huge variety of content. I got out my comfort zone. I worked with brands I haven't worked with before. I pushed myself to complete things that I didn't believe I could do but I did. I launched a podcast with my best friend that had over 115,000 downloads. I've had a lot of wins business wise and I just want to say thank you so much because without you watching, supporting me, without you being my digital cheerleaders, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do what I do and I think because I don't have management, I don't have a team. I have Laura, she's my business coach and she does a lot behind the scenes with me but I don't have like a full-time team member i don't have a full-time manager or anything like that so i do a lot of it well i do all of it myself <laughs> apart from laura dipping in here and there so that's that that's everything i wanted to share with you i'll talk about some goals for next year later on in this video for now it's 10 to 10 so i've got to go inside pop my stuff in my locker and then get warming up okay so i'm in the outside pool there is somebody swimming next to me so just gonna respect their privacy but um i've just been listening to some music i will link these headphones because they're waterproof um i don't go underneath the water with them and when you tap them they do change like pause and play and stuff so if you splash water on them then they do stop the song but they're really good i just wear one in my right ear and then i can listen to music as i do the lens but they actually have the pool heated so although it's freezing in the air the water's really nice and warm which is nice so yeah it's about quarter 12 ish and there's a class starting in a minute so i'm gonna get out go for a shower and probably have some lunch here the day is going so quickly and i still have so much to do and i'm just having a little jolly here at the gym so i think i should get out um and do more things <laughs> but i'm having a nice time done my hair put a little bit of makeup on and i'm just sat in the restaurant waiting for my lunch i have nice coffee and i've just done a load of emails i've just shared a new reel so come follow me on instagram if you're not already and yeah just doing a bit of work and then i'll go home and check on bonnie and then we'll carry on our day this is my favorite lunch at david lloyd and i have shown this before but it's an avocado and chicken flatbread and what i do is put all the salad inside i probably should just put a note next time and ask them to put that inside but that's what I do and it's delicious. Oh, my lunch was so lovely. Definitely ended up being longer than I thought today, but I feel really good, honestly. Really think that I need to spend more time dedicating like a whole morning or an afternoon just to be there, chill, do my workouts, do my hair, love it. But it's just gone one and I've been away for a little while. So I'm gonna go and uh, check on Bonnie girl and be with her for a bit. Maybe we can clean and tidy the house and we can wrap the Christmas gifts, that kind of thing. And then we will carry on with our errands because we've got still quite a lot of stuff to do today. So whilst we drive home, I thought I'd talk about a few goals for next year. And I have started to care less about setting yearly goals because I've been so focused on little goals little wins small things each month and i don't agree with waiting till january to start stuff however i do think that there are like bigger projects like general ones that are just going to wait to next year if that makes sense so my bigger next year things i'd like to do slash achieve are work wise i want to bring back my blog feeling like as i say this out loud i really hope this does happen and i'm able to add it into my workload but as we're not going to be doing the podcast moving forward or Bianca and I at least have no plans to continue the podcast um, I want to have another passion project something that I can do um, outside of just my, my making videos reels and brand work I want something else that's creative that I enjoy um, and also I want my blog to be more of a website like a hub for all my content and I want to be able to direct people to, to my blog for things I get uh, I get asked about all the time so I've got a vision I'd like to rebrand a bit 
um, and I've reached out to someone I'd like to work with. I got completely inspired after my trip to Mallorca when I went to that Traverse conference. They talked a lot about the importance and value of having your own website and I have one. I just haven't uploaded anything on it since January 2020, which as I'm sure you can tell, the timeline of things, COVID hit and obviously I just was not prioritizing um, working on my blog. So yeah, I'd like to bring that back. Then when it comes to home goals, Benj and I would like to buy a sofa for the kitchen and some garden furniture. Um, and I really want to enjoy our garden and yeah, be out there, work from outside and just enjoy that lovely space we have. And then we also want to renovate the downstairs bathroom. That's the last room in the house that really needs completely ripping out, painting, um, maybe a new sink, that kind of thing. So yeah, we're gonna do that at some point, but it's just not been a priority because we never use it. It's just tucked away at the back of the utility room um, and it's just there, but it's a really good bathroom for when guests pop over or if we have any sort of like gathering or party i would love to do like a summer barbecue or something where we can have more friends over for a bit of a, a gathering you know so that's home stuff and then travel i would like to do traverse next year as well after mallorca was such a success i would like to go to czech republic so i'm going to book that in and i just want to go on a couple more holidays with benji as well like actual trips away he's not been um on a trip abroad since January 2020 so uh, I know that he's really keen to get away so I think we'll do um, some hot holidays would be really nice that we can go and have fun and chill on a beach or by a pool like I'm really looking forward to that um, so they're sort of the like big things that I'm working on a lot of my other goals I'm just gonna keep to myself for now but I am looking forward to 2022 I feel like it is really hard to have a clear vision for what the year will look like especially after we went from 2020 to 2021 i didn't know what this year would look like really i just didn't know what would be allowed <laughs> like travel wise and um i still feel the same I, I have plans and we book things in but i don't i don't want to get my hopes too high you know does anyone else feel the same i don't want to be too excited in case it all gets cancelled or it's not possible so obviously we are aiming to get to Walt Disney World next year after three four years how long we last went in 2018 we booked our trip in 2019 and obviously we'll be going in 2022 so yeah it's been a while long overdue and I know lots of you love our Disney vlogs the Disney vlogs are gonna be so good they're gonna be so good we've already started putting our plans in place and i've started organizing when we're gonna go to universal and what we're gonna which days we're gonna do disney because i've got to book park passes in and stuff like that so yeah that's exciting but other than that just quality time with friends and family and doing more things for me so going to the cinema solo is something i love to do in fact i would love to do that tonight but i've got a new vlog going up really want to see house of gucci and um, we saw um encanto which i've been calling enchanto this whole time until i stepped into the cinema and they said encanto and i was like oh it's encanto anyway it was amazing lovely lovely disney film it very much reminds me of coco i'm sure it's the same people it's beautiful um to see and it is coming to disney plus on christmas eve but i think it was worth seeing in the cinema because the colors were so amazing and seeing it in the big screen was so good um, and we also saw west side story which was really good i really enjoyed that it's quite long i think it's two and a half hours but um brilliant film really really good and then what else have we seen recently we're gonna go and see spider-man this weekend uh, obviously because we're big Marvel fans so I'm really excited about that I'm gonna have to try and avoid spoilers because I think it comes out a couple of days before we're going to see it and also speaking of like films and things to watch I've been loving um, Stacey Solomon's show it's called sort your life out it's on Thursdays at nine o'clock on BBC one or eight o'clock um, but you can catch up on iPlayer and I've really been loving that I have two episodes to catch up with that were on whilst I was in New Yorker so I need to watch those but um, yeah that's been my favorite like TV show and I've been watching Selling Sunset I have the final episode to finish um, so I need to watch that right I'm just trying to sort out some wrapping but Bonnie has decided that we are playing fetch with this cow so <laughs> or tug of war 
Maybe tug of war? Yep. Oh, what a good little girl. <laughs> yes. Yes, is that nice? Oh, little scratch, little belly rub. All right, I have managed to catch up on some work. I just filmed a cameo video for someone for Christmas, so I'm gonna tick that off my list. I have printed out the addresses that I need to put on my friend's presents. And actually, my friend Gary, I want to get him a couple of extra bits that I need to pick up in Home Bargains or B&M, whichever one I choose to go to. Um, he specifically likes a few like chocolate sweet biscuity things, so I'm gonna go and find those. Um, but I've got presents ready for my friends Shannon and Victoria, so I've got their addresses. I'm gonna cut those out and wrap them up. Um, I think I'm lacking in um, bags that I can wrap presents in, like as in postage bags, so I may need to pick up one of those as well. But yeah, it's been actually quite a productive like hour or so. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple more emails and then I'll go down and feed Bonnie. She's just on the floor playing with some toys. Um, but it's looking good, but it's, it's getting later in the day and I still have so much to do. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna put the lights on the tree. I really love our tree. I think it looks amazing. So now I've played with Bonnie, she's been fed. She will probably go back to sleep and then I'll walk her again when I come back. First stop is Pets at Home to stock up on everything we need for Bonnie for Christmas. She needs some more wet food. So we do dry and then I put wet on top and like mix it in a bit. So she has half and half. So I've already ordered her dry food. We've got a whole bag of that, but I need some more of the wet pouches. So she goes through two a day. So it does become quite expensive, but you know, whatever makes the baby happy. And then I also need some treats for her. She likes the Bonio biscuits. Now they do normally sell those in Home Bargains or B&M as well, but seeing as I'm here, if they had them in here, then I'll pick them up here. I managed to get Bonnie's Bonio biscuits, but they didn't have her wet food. Again, honestly, they haven't had it for ages. So I'm actually gonna order it directly from James Wellbeloved which is the company we use for her. So I sat in the car park at Pets at Home and I decided to set up a reoccurring delivery every two weeks for Bonnie so that we have it just arrive and we save 10% doing that as well. So that makes so much more sense. I don't know why I didn't do that before. <laughs> Sometimes with these things, you don't want to commit to like a reoccurring payment and you just want to buy it as and when you need it, but we always need her food, obviously. So. That will just be one less thing I have to worry about for now. So my next task is to head to M&S and I want to go to B&M. But I know M&S stays open late and I don't know what time B&M closes. So we're going to go B&M first. Um, and actually, I think this might be the biggest B&M in the UK, if I'm correct. The Bournemouth one it opened last year and... It's right by a place called Castle Point. It's a really good one. I could probably do a whole video in there, but um, we'll have a little look, see if there's anything that catches my eye. Okay, we're at B&M, and I just want to try and show you how big it is. Look at this, like, definitely think it's the biggest one. And then over there, we've got Poundland, and we've also got an Aldi. All right, I've got my list, I've got my bag. Uh, is it my shopping bag? <laughs> And we're going to go in and see if they don't have what we need or everything we need in B&M that we can go in the other shops. But, oh, this is so exciting. I haven't been here in ages. I just thought I'd try and show you just the biscuit section. Like, look how big this store is. It's crazy. They've got such a cute Disney collection. And I really love this water bottle with all the Disney dogs on it. My favorite kind of people are dogs. Oh my God, amazing. But I just don't need any more water bottles. Um, I love these. And look, these are so cute. Dog lover, pet more dogs, drink more water. Oh my gosh, I got so hot. Oh, I did not need a coat on. With a mask and the baskets, two baskets. I didn't have a pound coin to um, put in for a trolley, but I definitely could have done with a trolley. But Anyway, that's now done. I'm now at a place called Castle Point, which is um, basically loads of shops. And I'm gonna go into next first. I've got one final gift to get for Benji's granddad. Really hard to buy for. Normally end up with chocolate, socks, um, or some sort of smellies, you know? And I would like to get him something else with what we've already got him. Um, I'm gonna walk over here. So I think next in M&S will do the job for that. I've been home for a little while. I've literally just been sat on my phone sharing my new vlog 
and replying to some things and sorting stuff out. I also tuned into a live stream that I wanted to listen to. Um, so yeah, loads of other stuff. But um, anyway, I've now unpacked everything. So I'm gonna show you my mini haul from today. I am gonna have some dinner and then I'm gonna take Bonnie out for a walk. It is raining, so we're gonna both have to wrap up a little bit. Um, but she just had a Bonio biscuit finally because we were out for so long. I'm gonna show you B&M non-food bits, uh, then the food stuff, and then a couple of things from M&S, and then H&M. Right, this really is very random, but we have Christmas gift bags I needed. I saw this coat and thought it'd be good for Bonnie um, if it is reflective, because she's black, if I walk her in the dark. I don't actually like let her off, usually, if we walk in the dark, but I just thought this could be quite good. If we do go to the park and it does get a little bit darker, I don't know, it was only seven pound. Um, then I bought, this is a little gift for um, a girl called Jess in our family, so obviously got the J. Um, then I bought this, I've been meaning to buy this for myself for so long, and it basically is a floor um, standing selfie mirror that I can put my phone in so I can record ads and stories and stuff. I already have a desktop version from B&M um, and they had this one. It was actually reduced to £20 so I thought I would pick that up. Then the food stuff. <laughs> okay, so I got skips and these pretzels always remind me of um, our flight to Florida. So got those for Christmas. Wagon wheel tea cakes. Um, rice, cheese strings, rice pudding. These are all things that I just love picking up and having in the cupboard. Um, super noodles, I love these. These are my favorite cookies with a cup of tea. Like, these are the best. If you go into B&M, they're really low calorie and they're just really nice. So I obviously got a few boxes of those. Um, and then I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to try that. Is that Biscoff biscuit in it? I think it is, you know. So I thought we'd try that. Then I got a couple more of my skinny things. So I love this chocolate spread. I actually have quite a few of theirs. I saw this and thought it could be quite nice to add in coffee, maybe. I don't know if it's for coffee, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. Um, then I got my favorite Maryland cookies. These are so good as a little snack. If I'm not having those ones, <laughs> these ones. I got some Tassimo pods for my coffee um, machine. So I got a white chocolate coconut latte, which I think I'm going to love this. And then I also, they had one left of these, so I thought I'd try this as well. And as you can see, this is also my favourite Domio stirring pasta sauce. So got that. A couple of bits of fruit from m and some ice cream crackers we love these ones the most and i just thought while i was there saw them pick those up for christmas wanted loads of bottles of this to have over christmas but they only had one bottle left it's the best once you know you know it's just amazing gibbo asti m s got some toffee vodka for us because we love that with a pepsi max and then i got a couple of the um baileys so i really like this one because it's actually dairy free which is great so um baileys did actually have a, da a dairy free one um almond um one but they haven't released it this year so m s do a good alternative if you're dairy free and then i also picked up this one i thought we could try this as well this is the golden blonde chocolate flavor so they had the brownie one as well which i also have had before and then i also went into h&m 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 here we go. I saw my friend Lisa with this jumper and I was like, I need that. Um, and it's a red, nice big baggy jumper um, that says holiday season with Mickey on it. And this was $17.99. This is the medium and it's like an extra large on me. I just thought this was lovely to wear for Christmas. And then I also picked up these. They were the last pair on their own and I was like, oh my God, have you ever seen anything so cozy? And um, they're pajama, but well, they're not pajamas, they're loungewear, like trousers. They were 19.99 and they're like a teddy fleece. Ah, oh, amazing joggers. Like, why would you not want to buy these? Do you know what I mean? So I got those as well, tried them on, they fit lovely. So got that. And then I also, I used to have a really cute black bow that went, well, I sort of used to put it half up, half down in my hair. Um, I don't know where I put it, so I saw this and I uh, thought I'd get another one. Oh, it's attached to the thing. Anyway, it was $6.99, but it's on a clip, and I thought this would be really cute on Christmas Day or whatever. Have it in my hair, bell styly. Not for everyone, I know, but I just thought it's really cute at Christmas time. So that is everything I bought, my little haul. All right, I'm gonna heat up my dinner now. I've just got some leftovers from a meal I made last night. Um, and obviously, Benji's not home tonight. He's working away a lot at the moment. 
Um, so it's just me and Bon. I've got leftover um, beef, carrot, spinach, uh, tomato thing I made last night, and then the Tilda white and brown rice. Back from our walk, and it was pretty cold outside, so I was gonna have a bath. I might still have a bath, but um, I've just decided to put on my new jumper and my new pajama bottoms, my lounge top bottoms, so I'm really warm now. So here's my Lego castle. It is for age 12 plus, so we shouldn't have problems with this, but I thought it would look really cute in my office. Um, I bought it on Shop Disney a little while ago. If it's still available, I'll link it for you, but I love doing Lego. I find it really mindful and just a nice way to be off my phone, but look at all these bits. Oh no. <laughs> So I've done bag one, which looks like this, the base, and we've got little people in. The detail is so cute. There's like a little picture of the castle here, and there's a little picture of a pair of Cinderella slippers like tucked in there. Um, it's really cute, so it's gonna come together nicely, but it's a really good size. I actually thought it'd be a bit bigger than this, but I'm glad it's not because I do want it in my office on my shelf. Um, and it's just a really lovely activity. I have completed up to page 64 and we're now on section three. So this is what it's looking like now. So as you can see, it's starting to come together a bit. It did get a little bit confusing at one point. I was like, why is that not fitting properly? And then I realized that I did it wrong, obviously. Look how cute she is sleeping down there. Oh. Hi darling, you okay? You're a very good girl down there, very good girl. <laughs> oh, of course you're wagging your tail, of course. You're just the cutest thing in the world. Guys, it's 20 to 11. I normally get into bed at nine, half nine, and I'm asleep by 10. But I'm just so enjoying building the castle that I kind of want to just finish it as I'm sat here. Um, I'm on this last section, so this is number three done now, and I'm just on the last bit, bag four, 118 pages in, so yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer, I'm just watching some YouTube videos in the background on the projector, my back is killing me, um, so I've tried to like put some more pillows behind me, but I have a really bad back, and yeah, this is probably not good for it at all, but hey. It's 10 past 11 and I think I'm finished. It does look a little bit unfinished in some areas. I'm a bit confused. Um, like there's holes here that look like they need to be filled. And I thought there'd be something on the top in there. And this is just an empty square. But no, that is, that is it. It looks really good, doesn't it? Look how cute that is. Um, it took me like three hours. Oh my god, I started at half past seven. Three and a half hours this took. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I mean, it looks really good. Let me just show you properly. It does look exactly like it though, doesn't it? And it's a really nice size. Like, it is smaller than I thought, but it's actually really nice. And there are a couple of spare bits that never made it on so I don't know if that's normal let me know if you guys had the same but let's push that down is that gonna go down okay it's gone midnight now I'm normally asleep by now but obviously I got totally carried away with the lego I've done my skincare brushed my teeth and I've got my nighty on I love this it's from Primark and it's super soft I like the long sleeves because it can get a bit chilly um especially when I'm on my own I've got a busy day tomorrow I've got loads of things to get done I've got to edit this video I've got a zoom call I've got some boring stuff I need to attend to so that'll be tomorrow it's been so lovely to have a me day and get all those things done i still didn't manage to go to the post office so that'll have to be tomorrow now um i think i'll walk bonnie to the post office tomorrow they let her in there so i'll do that in the morning 
Um, and yeah, I'm just feeling really happy and content rounding off the year. This is my final video for now, for this year. Um, so hopefully if you haven't seen any mothers or you're a bit behind, a couple of weeks, weeks to catch up. Um, but I just want to say another huge thank you for all your support this year. And yeah, just come over and follow me on Instagram so you can see all the behind the scenes of what we get up to in between videos and a bit of our holiday at the Cotswolds, our little staycation. I'll probably do a story highlight for that as well so you can see what we do. Um, but there will be a vlog from that next at the beginning of January. Um, and yeah, next year is going to be so exciting. So many good videos. I just can't wait to share it all with you. So have a lovely Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. I will be back very soon. I'm going to really miss vlogging. I'm picking up the vlog ca camera again to film our holiday um, next week. So I won't be away from the camera too long. But um, yeah, sending you all the love and thanks again. And uh, yeah, I'm going to sleep. So see you in 2022. Bye! <laughs>